for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the mad cheese as always. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to record uh, with my son, Little Money, making his uh, debut on my channel. Um, he's the reason I started this channel, so he has every right, every every purpose to be in a video every once in a while. So if you guys want to see more videos with my Woo! son in it, uh, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I'll have some outtakes at the end of the video, uh, some you know some stuff that uh, we went through while I was trying to record that five seconds of footage. It took about five minutes to record five seconds of footage, but if you guys want to see that, stick around at the end of the video. Other than that, I'm gonna show you guys the defense today. Today I'm gonna show you guys some new blitzes, some new defensive plays out of the Big Nickel Over G. This is one of my favorite formations going back a couple of years. I mean, since they implemented the Big Nickel Over. G has been one of the best formations in the game. One of the best things about it is you can use pretty much safeties across the board. I mean, I can replace all these linebackers with safeties. So if you play Mutt and you got a lot of safeties, I mean, you can run all these linebacker spots as safety. You can run all these safety spots as cornerbacks if you want to. Uh, you can run linebackers as your defensive ends. I mean, it's really flexible when it comes to getting, you know, whatever your fastest package is or whatever your best pass coverage package is, you can get it on the field with this particular defense. So that's one of my favorite things about it. I already put out a couple of blitzes and a couple of plays out of this particular defense. So I will have links in the description below for you guys to check that out one of them was the cover three sky now this is still one of my favorite defenses, especially when it comes to a base defense but the defenses i'm going to show you today are very similar except they remove a couple of the steps when it comes to the setup which makes it a lot better a lot quicker uh and in my opinion one of the better ways to run this particular formation now as far as the plays go i'm going to put all three of them in my audibles there's really three different plays that you can run this particular uh scheme that i'm going to show you guys out of and it really depends on what your favorite defense is you have three options here. They're all the weak safety blitz, whether it's the one, two, or three. These are the three plays that I'm going to show today, although realistically the setup's the exact same in all three, and they're all going to look pretty similar with the exception of the weak safety blitz too, which will look like a cover two safety shell, but ultimately it's going to have a very similar setup. So you can really mirror all three of these setups if you want to, and basically run these three plays all game. Now, in my opinion, the best play without a doubt is the weak safety blitz three. This is going to be the one that I use the most. So we'll go and pick the cover three. Three. On the offensive side, we're just going to go with random gun. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below is your discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. So the thing that I like about this defense, and you just saw it, that's the weak safety blitzer is coming down to the box all by himself. So let's go ahead and let's put our pre-snap art up. Uh, the reason that I like that is because it really eliminates the step. On a previous play that I showed you guys, the cover three sky, you really had to do all that stuff yourself. You really had to bring these guys into position uh, and things like that, which, you know, it's just eliminates the step. It makes it quicker. It makes it harder for your opponent to basically just come out and, and snap the ball on you. There's really only two or three adjustments you have to make. The number one adjustment would be to basically click onto this, uh, this blitzing safety. I'll show you what happens if you don't uh, the second I start making adjustments EA put some stupid thing in here where a lot of times he'll walk back or he'll do something you know he'll go back and then he'll come back down which can mess up the whole play but if you click on him and move him he, he'll stay put so click on him move him and then that's pretty much all you have to do then the only real adjustments you have to make is pinch the defensive line and then slant them outside which is basically D pad to the left and down and D pad to the left and up on the right stick that's all you got to do the last step is essentially just bring your user down over the middle and put them on a blitz. That's all you gotta do. Uh, and this is gonna be a really good blitz. It's also gonna be a really good run-stopping defense. Like I said, you can basically set up the same way if you have time as the previous play. It'll make it a really good run defense because you can see there's no inside run lanes. There's no outside run lanes because we have outside containment. And then other than that, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can put yourself on hard flats if you like because this pressure will come pretty quick. Uh, that's probably one of the best adjustments that you can make. Uh, but this is pretty much it. And then I'm just gonna stay home for half a second and drop back. You always want this blitz coming off the opposite side of the running back because a lot of times the running back won't be able to rotate over if even if he is pass blocking so let's go and let's run this play a couple times like i said right there he was on Woo! the pattern you can see our guy just comes in and blows the quarterback up on what i think was a five on five or maybe even a five on six let's go to the replay i did not see how many people were blocking like i said i picked random gun here so basically he did look like he was in a check and release he stayed on for a second and then he goes out of the pattern so ultimately i pull the center and then you can see we have a five on five and this guy's just coming in hot off the edge free so obviously this guy here you're going to want to make sure you have your fast 
ass this guy. I didn't make that adjustment. I just have whoever's there typically. I know Holland's a good player. I don't know if he's really good in this game or not. I have no idea. But you can see he just comes off the edge untouched. Takes a really good angle because like I said, I did move him down into the box a little bit pre-snap. You want to have him a little bit closer to the line. You can see he just comes straight up for the quarterback. I mean, that's going to be something you're going to get a lot of pressure on. This is a very good pressure package. You can run this out of multiple different coverages. And like I said, you can run this scheme pretty much all game. You can run uh, any one of these coverages. I'll run the cover two probably the second most because I do like cover two. Although I did pick the wrong play. So let's go ahead and let's... I thought I hit Y. But here we go. We got our cover two look here. So like I said, when you make this adjustment though, you can see it kind of messes up uh, when it comes to these guys. Um, you know, basically it'll change up everything they're doing. The more adjustments you make, you see the safeties are shifting and all kind of stuff. That's one of the things I don't like about the cover two and about the cover ones. It can really um, have those effects on the coverage. But ultimately, if you get that adjustment in quick enough, you can still have a lot of success. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. This will be an even easier because there's no running back in the backfield. We got an empty gun look here. So we're going to have a probably even quicker blitz. And you can see he's just right around that edge. Got it! You're getting some really good coverage. Because like I said, if you mix up your coverages, obviously you can confuse your opponent and then you can make a lot of really good plays like this. Your opponent might be expecting that cover three. You hit him with a cover two. You hit him with a cover one and boom, you're having a lot of success. Now I know I said I don't really like cover one, but you gotta admit, cover three, if you can see right here, cover three pre-snap, I'm gonna make my little bit of an adjustment here. Uh, cover three and cover one look the most alike. So this is your best opportunity to fool your opponent, make them think you're running a different coverage entirely. And then you can do something like this. We basically just come down over the uh, the center with the guy covering the running back. This is a really good way to mix in a cover one man. Like I said, I'm not really a fan, but cover three and cover one man look the most similar pre-snap. The cover two is a little bit of a giveaway based on the fact that you go from a single high safety to two, to two high safeties. But this here, like I said, you can confuse your opponent. They can, they can look at this and thank you still in that cover through shell and then boom you're coming off the edge uh with a really good blitz uh just as long as you know like right there the running back goes down a pattern or follow him so you have the opportunity to run those together really well so without a doubt cover three and cover one work together the best but you can do uh the cover two blitz uh, here we also have an issue where this running back is on, the, is on the wrong side. So in this scenario like this, I'm better off just basically blitzing this guy here and then basically just switching this guy over to a, uh, a mid-read or, or a middle third or something like that. I mean, I have a cover two anyway. This is really going to be how I want to adjust this defense because ultimately um, I, don't, I don't think that this blitz is nearly as effective and you can't flip the play. Once this play is set up the way that it is, you can't flip the play. So put this guy in something else. It doesn't really matter. You want to man him to the running back or something, man him to the tight end, whatever. But put him in something else. Have your blitz always coming off the opposite side. If you're, if you're using it as a blitz, I mean, a lot of times you can use this as a run defense, and it's not really going to be important to do that. But if you're using this as a blitz, it always has to be the blitz coming off the opposite side of the running back for that to come home. Uh, and it's you know it's going to be the most important part. So we can switch, we can switch that up. We can't really flip the play. And then you can see, boom, we're getting a sack off the other side even with the guy coming off the wrong side. We'll pick that play again. We'll go with some random run plays because you can stop the run with this. So we're going to go concept run. Now I showed you guys this play in a previous um, in the previous defense where you can basically shoot gaps right over the center. We're going to make our exact same adjustments. Like I said, you got to move this guy first so he doesn't uh, he doesn't go anywhere. But pinch your defense or pinch your defensive line, slant outside. Uh, and now you're going to see, I mean, I can basically just shoot the gap right over the center here. Uh, this guy here, I, I want to move him down a little bit. And if I have my choice, I, I'd probably rather play hard flats as far as that goes. But ultimately, I can shoot the gap right over that center. Even on a play like this, which is basically a goal line. Nope. You can see right here, we can just basically just shoot right in and just make a play. Play. The only real difference when it comes to uh, running this play as a run defense, if you're expecting run, uh, is you're pretty much going to want to stay back. Let me just do my setup real quick, which like I said, it's a real quick setup. But in the previous play, I was saying come down here into the box because you're trying to pull a blocker. Here you're trying to basically get forgotten. So I'm going to go out and set up my 4-4 and I'm going to basically stand back far enough so that you know they, I don't get blocked right away. I'm going to be the last one blocked. That's how I'm going to shoot my gaps, as you can see right there, as we, we, we you know, didn't make the tackle, but we still basically kept him from getting it. Anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defenses, I can do a full scheme. I think I put out two videos already. Uh, this is the third video out of the big nickel over G. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown, uh, let me know in the comment section. I can do like a five part defensive scheme uh, out of this particular uh, formation because it's one of the best in the game. It's been one of the best all year. It's been one of the best since it came out. So hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Sit in the chair like this, have my back all the way to the thing. You're not even watching me. Sit here and then take this and pull it towards you. That's 
All you gotta do is go sit in the chair. Go sit in it. Sit down, like you're like you're me. <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. Right, go ahead. Go ahead, hop in there. No, 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 not the, not the, the, the microphone stick. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.